where it's at. Let's get it. It's the place where I'm from. These are the things that I see. This the place where I live, so this place is me. <laughs> this the place where I'm from. These are the things that I see. This the place where I live, so this place is me. It's in my blood, running through my veins night and day. Even if I try some things, we can't change. This where I'm from. These are the things that I see. This the place where I live, so this place is me. It's in my blood, running through my veins night and day. Even if I try some things, we can't change. From California in the valley, this is all for me. From the oceans down to the rivers to the salt and sea, the air we breathe is something that we can't spare. These things. I've been seeing lately have me real scared from pollution in the media to pollution in the air we can no longer breathe it and pretend it ain't there it ain't fair we can't play this the place we at there's no way we can let it decay and fade the black but raised in the place where you get to learn what madness is you can't allow yourself to get shocked in the paralysis toxicity in the air but they don't tell you it's easy to wish you well when they don't help you we got so much to lose for being regular folk This is what they keep from the news This is what they don't show They expect us to drop everything and let it all go But this our life, this is all that we know This the place where I'm from These are the things that I see This the place where I live, so this place is me It's in my blood, running through my veins night and day Even if I tried some things, we can't change This where I'm from these are the things that I see, this the place where I live, so this place is me, it's in my blood, running through my veins night and day, even if I tried some things we can't change, in the land full of citizens that can't change the cities or the counties that they're living in, led by leaders that are blinded and visionless, I hope you're getting what the picture is, sit back and picture it, all I can do is paint it, verbally, we've been real patient for far too long, but we can no longer take it, accept the terms and be complacent, we need changes, put in place today and we expect to make it can i get a witness or someone that's willing to fix it what do we plan to leave behind for our children's children there's a future that we need to look forward to we're looking at each other like what are we supposed to do what do you see when i show you what i'm showing you this isn't an issue that we can just keep coasting through we can't drop everything and let it all go yo this is our life this is all that we know this the place where i'm from these are the things that I see, this the place where I live, so this place is me, it's in my blood, running through my veins night and day, even if I tried some things we can't change, this where I'm from, these are the things that I see, this the place where I live, so this place is me, it's in my blood, running through my veins night and day, even if I tried some things we can't change, this the place where I'm from. These are the things that I see, this the place where I live, so this place is me, it's in my blood, running through my veins night and day, even if I try some things we can't change, this where I'm from, these are the things that I see, this the place where I live, so this place is me, it's in my blood, running through my veins night and day, even if I try some things we can't change. You can't talk about the Imperial Valley without mentioning the Salton Sea. And you can't mention the Salton Sea without first mentioning the Imperial Valley. They go hand in hand, like peanut butter and jelly, burgers and fries, chips and salsa. My name is Jose Renteria, and being a native to this area, I'd heard very little about this lake that is full of mystery, mostly because the vast majority of Imperial Valley residents know very little about the lake. Most give you a quick shrug of the shoulders and say, well, I don't know. I just know it's polluted. Or they'll say something like, why would I want to go there? You've all heard something similar to this, right? In fact, ask yourself, what do you know about the Salton Sea? When was the last time you went there? Take out all the hogwash, all the bogus stories, all the negativity, and most will not give you a clear answer. Well, sometime in 2006, I decided to explore for myself. I wandered into what used to be a popular marina and boat launch, Red Hill Marina County Park. And I was in awe. I could not believe how massive the body of water was. Nothing but water as far as I could see. And 
besides sounds of birds all around me, a very quiet and peaceful place actually. Now, I've been a fisherman of canals, a lover of all things outdoors, and have a natural fascination for water. It was inevitable that I would meet with California's largest lake. But, rather than ask locals for information, I decided to read scientific information, history, and intimate stories that date back to the origins of the county itself. While reading the Great Salt Sea Atlas by the Redlands Institute, salt dreams by William DeBise, and other detailed literature about the Salt Sea, I came to find out that it is nothing like what people say it is. It's not toxic, it's not polluted, it's not dead. With that information, I decided to go fishing, to go swimming, ride the waves, boogie board it. And, as luck would have it, my research became even more intimate when I became an employee at the Sunny Bono Salt Sea National Wildlife Refuge during the summer of 2007. I took a heavy interest in all things Salt and Sea, and well, once I knew the facts, based on what I had been reading, and other important information, I had to spread the word. I was on a mission to reach out to the locals and conduct as many educational tours to anyone interested. Eventually, I was leading educational tours along the Rock Hill Trail at the Sunny Bono Salt Sea National Wildlife Refuge, to schools in Calexico, Brawley, Hopeville, El Centro, Sealy. It was fun to see these children's eyes light up when they saw the wildlife, the water, their funny questions about if there were any whales, sharks, or sea lions in the lake. But besides that, the point of it all was to give them the correct information about the Salton Sea, and hopefully they'll remember their fun trek and take what they learned back to their parents. In my subsequent years at the Sunny Bono Salton Sea Wildlife Refuge, sometime at IVROP, and later the Salton Sea State Park in the Northeast Shores, I spoke to thousands of visitors, and I'm not exaggerating, people from all over the world. Spain, Australia, Ireland, Russia, Germany, Italy, all the way to Canada, to Alaska, New Hampshire, Maine, Colorado, to folks from all over California, and very rarely, people from Imperial Valley or nearby Coachella Valley visited. This bothered me. I found this to be very sad and quite disappointing, actually. So as an employee with some ability, I reached out to the community leaders, the radio station, to invite them on a kayak tour, bird watching tour, or a formal presentation about the lake. And, well, unfortunately, I was met with resistance. I simply wanted for them to see what I see. You can't reach everyone, but hey, I wanted to. If you lived 10 or 20 miles away from Lake Tahoe, the Great Lakes, or Sequoia National Park, I'm sure you'd have gone there, many times in fact. But the Salton Sea, with its reputation, it's largely ignored. It doesn't deserve that reputation either. Yes, what you read about in the local news is true. The receding shoreline and the very fine particulate matter is greatly affecting the air quality, with less and less water entering the Salton Sea since 2003. But think about today, actually today and tomorrow. The Salton Sea is still there. It's not going away next week or the week after. You can still visit it. There's still plenty of time to check out all the great vistas, believe me. Go there at sunrise or sunset. It's absolutely beautiful. Visit Obsidian Butte, very close to Calipatria. You'll forget where you are. Red Hill Marina County Park is still there, mostly popular for bird watchers. Or check out the mud volcanoes right next to Red Hill. Or of course the very famous Salvation Mountain in Island. Or the observation towers just a few miles away from Calipatria. Or the Bat Cave Buttes in the north along Highway 111, north of Brawley. There's still much to see and experience around the Salton Sea. Go out and explore it. See all the absolutely beautiful vistas. See it for yourself. See it before it shrinks even more. Experience what countless others have experienced. After all, you are closer to the Salton Sea than anyone else.
this is Bombay Beach. One of the few tourist attractions still having people come back to the Salton Sea. But you see, this sea wasn't always a sea. It used to be a lake. Lake Coahuila, from the Coahuila tribe. Indigenous people lived all around this lake. And it was a massive lake. One of the biggest lakes in North America at the time. It spanned from what is now Palm Springs to El Cierro Preto de Mexicali. And they had a system. The water, venía del Rio Colorado. Bless our valley for a few couple, you know, couple years, hundred years, depends. And then into the Rio Hardy and just go into the Gulf of Cortez. So what made this into environmental disaster for our valley and our generations to come? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Us, humans, humans messed it up. Just 115 years ago, a group of engineers decided to build the uh, irrigation system in the valley and big problems happened. It led to water being overflown in here for two whole years, which led to the development of a sea. So why should you care? That's a good question. So we live right next to the Coachella Valley and we all know the Coachella winds are pretty freaking strong. These winds are picking up this pollution from the water, from the floor, sending it all our way down south. There's a hearing coming up and there hasn't been a hearing in the last 20 to 30 years. So it's about time we do something. There is a place in Southern California that not many people have heard about. In the furthest corner of the Imperial County, a place once known for its beauty, a place that once was a vacation destination for those hot summer days, is now an abandoned, decaying piece of land, full of abandoned businesses, few homes, and the smell of dead fish. People have called this location by many names, Wonderland, Miracle of the Desert, the Desert Oasis, and the Forgotten Sea. A place once considered a desert paradise now sits slowly crumbling away after years of contamination and abuse. This once great paradise is now a huge pool of pollution that sadly affects us all. The Salton Sea. All life that is there hangs by a string. fish wash up dead on the shore. The air becomes toxic little by little as the contaminated particles infiltrate our oxygen. of birds are now left without an important stop in the migration process.
And the sad part is that all of this is happening while many of us are just sitting back, unaware or ignorant to the problem. The Salton Sea has sadly turned into one of the country's greatest problems when it comes to environmental issues and pollution, causing our oxygen to become a carrier to problems such as asthma and cancer. We living in the Imperial Valley are currently one of the places mainly affected by the Salton Sea. But there is still beauty to be found in the Salton Sea. This is our valley.